Good morning. It's a Sunday morning about three weeks before the start of fall semester 2020. And I thought I would try to make a happy, happy, helpful video for you on how to get ready actually for fall semester by um, adding a template to Canvas and then connecting Canvas to my math lab and connecting it to a specific class. OK, so let's do this. I'm going to share my screen. And there we go. Here I am in my math lab, and the reason I want to start here is it's always a good idea to have a good idea of what class you're going to be um, uploading eventually, not uploading, but connecting to Canvas. All right, and this is the class I'm going to be um, connecting to Canvas. Beecher Intermediate Algebra, new as of yesterday, 8-1-2020. OK, let me go out to course home or my courses rather. And here it is right there at the top. It's very convenient. I didn't put it there. It just happens to be there, which is great. Um, and so this is what I'm going to be uploading. Now let's go over to Canvas. I think of it as uploading. It's not uploading. It's connecting. Here's my dashboard in Canvas, and I haven't published any of my fall classes yet, so the unpublished classes are here at the bottom with the note publish already. OK. Um, here we are. This is the class I want to connect to the class in my math lab, so I'm going to click here. This is my fall intermediate algebra, which is what our school calls algebra two. Now this is part of a template that our school requires be uploaded to all classes. I want to show you how to do that first. What I do is I go over here. There will be a blank screen here with just a little little kind of grayed, not grayed out, but but gray about this color with a design on it. I go over here to the right to import from commons. Now in my school, probably almost no one, at least in my department, no one is going to be teaching a traditional face-to-face -face class. All of us are going to be teaching online or hybrid classes. Um, so I'm going to click here. And then import download. And then I have a list of all the classes I want to apply this template to. And I import, I did that with all of my classes that are right here at the top. These are my fall classes. These were my summer classes. So these classes up here, um, I'm not going to do it again, but that's what you would do. You would click the classes you want, uh, probably all of your classes if you're in my department. And then you would actually wait. Let's see, is there a start? There probably is. Import into course, okay? So no, I wouldn't do that, I would download. I would click download, and then the magic would happen, however long it takes. And what you get is, nah. Let's just go to dashboard. It's easier here. And now I'll go back here. And once the template is set, is downloaded, this is what you now see on the home page. Okay, so I have not yet connected my math lab to Canvas. So let's go through this. Over here on the left, I have my menu. I scroll down to the bottom to settings 
and here are settings. Then I go to the right to navigation. Now these are what I already see over here on the menu. Down here are what uh, I need to upload to the menu. And here's my lab in mastering. All I'm going to do is drag this. I actually could drag it anywhere but I prefer to put my lab mastering right above grades. There we go. Now, all I have to do is save. And then go back to home. All right, and there's my lab mastering right there. So I'm going to click on my lab mastering. Allow pop-ups to continue. Turn off pop-up blockers. All right, that means I'm going to click here and I'm going to say always allow pop-up blockers from Instructure. That should do it because I'm using um, Microsoft here. I'm using my, the new Microsoft Edge and that usually sets it. If not, I'll have to go into the Microsoft Edge settings. Um, OK, but it doesn't matter. The same thing would happen with uh, Google Chrome, which is what my school uses most of the time. Um, so here I am. Create or copy uh, my lab or modified mastering course. So I'm going to click on Get Started. I'm going to go here, select from my existing course list. OK, and so I am going to enter a course ID. Since when do I have to do that? Usually all I have to do is search. Oh, right here, select. There I go. Now what I want is the course I already named, which is it starts with Beecher. Beecher Intermediate Algebra New 8-1-2020, that's the one. I hit select. And then I'm going to name the course. So I'm going to name the course Fall 2020 um, Intermediate Algebra. A W. The W lets me know that this is an online class, World Wide Web, W. And then whatever the CRN is, and I'll go in and put that in later. Now, the start day I'm going to make today, it's just a convenience for me. And the end date as a convenience is going to be December 31st. That way, in case there are any incompletes, they can take care of it during December. And I will allow all, structure, all instructors to copy this course, and so I'm going to create the course. Now, it may take a few minutes for this to happen. And now I just have to wait. And so you're going to have to take on faith, really, that this has happened and uh, the course will appear and everything will be wonderful. OK, so I will see you later. Bye bye. I'm still recording, so I'll say bye again. <laughs>